Welcome to Sweet Red Poppy. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly, and today we are going to be sewing this adorable reversible baby bib. You know how obsessed I am with sewing for babies, so I had to share this new free bib pattern with you. Now, this pattern creates a reversible bib with a little subtle touch of ribbon, and our pattern is available in sizes newborn, three to six months, and six to 12 months. But before we jump into our project, make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and turn on those notifications, that way you never miss out on any of my sewing tutorials or my free patterns that are coming soon. I can't wait for you to try this pattern and give all those special babies a boutique-worthy bib. Are you ready to get started? Let's gather up all of your supplies and get sewing. For this tutorial, you will need the following supplies. Two fat quarters of cotton quilting fabric, one yard of ribbon, a sewing machine, thread, scissors or a rotary cutter and mat, an iron and an ironing board, a turning tool, pins, your pattern, and Fabri-Tac. Step one, print your pattern. Cut out your fabric and your ribbon. Download the pattern that's linked below in the description and print it out. Piece the pattern together by aligning your pink stars and your black lines and cut it out according to the size you're planning on making. Next, go ahead and lay your fat quarters on top of each other. If you want a bib that's a little bit more absorbent, you can add in a layer of flannel. You'll want to make sure that your fabric is ironed so that it's flat and it cuts out accurately. Place the pattern on top of the fabric, paying attention to the direction of your grain line. It should be going along this way, so you should have your selvage edges on the side. Place a few pins into your pattern to secure it to the fabric. Using your rotary cutter or your scissors, cut out your fabric. You should end up with two pieces of fabric. Next, take out your ribbon and cut two 18 inch pieces. If you bought one yard, you can just cut your ribbon in half. Step two, pin your bandana together. Lay one piece of the bandana bib right side up and place the two pieces of ribbon on top. Pin your ribbon in place. Roll up the excess ribbon and pin it in place. This is going to keep it from getting caught in your seam allowances while you're sewing. Now place the other piece of your bib on top of that with the right side facing downwards. Pin everything in place. You'll want to leave about a two inch opening along the edge of your bib, and that's going to be so that we can turn it right side out. Step three, sew your bib together. Using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, sew the bib together along the raw edges. When you reach the point of the bib, lower the needle, lift your presser foot, and pivot the fabric, then lower your foot. This is going to help you to create a really nice sharp point. Now don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and the end of your seams, otherwise your seams will pull apart when you try to flip your bib right side out. Also make sure that you don't sew over your ribbon except for at the very top. Step four, turn right side out. Clip into the seam allowance, but not through the stitching along the curves of the bib. This is going to help your fabric to lay flat once you turn it right side out. It also prevents any pulling from happening. You'll also want to snip off the corners of the bib. This is going to remove that excess fabric so you get a really nice sharp point. Turn the bib right side out, and with your turning tool, push out your seam allowances. Now at this point, it's going to look a little bit rough, but just roll these seam allowances back and forth until you get to the edge. Step five, iron and close your opening. Using plenty of steam, iron your entire bib to create a crisp, professional looking finish. Using your thumb and pointer finger, you can roll your seam allowance outwards along the edges of the bib. Now you have two different options to close this opening. You can top stitch along the entire bib or you can close the opening with some fabric glue. I'm going to draw a small line of fabric glue along the seam allowance and then press it closed. Now you're finished and you have this adorable boutique worthy baby ribbon bow. I can't wait to see what you make with this free pattern. Make sure to join my crafting and sewing Facebook group that's linked below and share your baby bibs with us. Don't forget to subscribe to Sweet Red Poppy and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week with another sewing tutorial.